What up, YouTube? It's your boy NBM back again, man. I know I've been faded away for a whole month, man. I've been gone, but your boy was down. Had like a bad tooth infection that was spreading in my face, man. And crazy game, but that's not what I'm here to talk about, though. What I'm here to talk about is me grabbing this here R5, man. Yes, sir. I went on ahead and picked that up. And look, man, if you can't find this camera nowhere and you having trouble looking for this camera because it's sold out everywhere, um, BNA sent me a message the other day saying that they don't know when they're going to have some more in. I don't know what's going on with Canon, but I do know a spot that you can grab the camera from if you're in need of one and you really want an R5. It's a great camera. Head over to Deals All Year. My man Steven will definitely take care of you. Get to that R5 that you've been looking for. DealsAllYear.com. Steven. Just telling your boy Malachi sent you, man, so he can give me my cut. You know, I'm just messing around, man. But Steven's a real good guy. And, um, yeah, check it out, man. Like I said, it's deals all year. Shout out to them, man, for actually getting this camera from me because I couldn't find it nowhere. I've had the camera now probably about two weeks. I'm, uh, this is probably, like, my third time really messing around with it. But in the process of messing around with it, I haven't got no overheat. And, uh, my timer hasn't went down about this camera. We all know that it definitely shoots 8K, but the reason why I'm doing this video is for people who do YouTube videos that want to purchase this camera in order to do a YouTube video. Maybe you want to shoot a music video. I don't know, but I know if I shoot a music video, I'm shooting 8K. I'm telling you that right now. I'm shooting in RAW right now, 8K, but, you know, to be honest with you, those files are pretty much, they're, they're super large, man. Like, I really feel like those files are super big. I got a 256 gigabyte CFS Express card, which works for me, but, for those of you that asking, can you shoot 8K with an SD card? Yeah, you can, but it's limited. So you definitely got to shoot IPB mode with 8K. You can't shoot all live nor raw. Your SD card won't let you do it. So you definitely got to shoot IPB, and that'll work out for you. So IPB. So you definitely can shoot with SD card with this camera, and I'm able to shoot um, 4K HQ with the SD card. So. If you're trying to save some dollars, man, you're trying to save some bucks, pick up an SD card. I believe mine is, uh, this is a card I already had, so definitely pick this up. I don't know if it's focused on it. Let me see. Push on that. Yeah, so definitely get you one of these. It'll work out for you, I promise. You know what I mean? And um, you can get a terabyte, uh, whatever, or 256, 512, whatever you want to get. Also, man, to those who want to know, if you get a long recording time with this camera, you can get a long recording time. I'm gonna show you a few things I did grab. So I picked up the Atomos Ninja V, which allows me to get a lot of recording time on it. I can definitely shoot 4K HQ with that, which is supposed to be 8K downscaled to 4K. I can definitely get a lot of time with this. So, and I've uh, put it in the field and played around with it. So I, I really got a lot of time with it. So if you looking to pick up this camera, man, this camera's a beast, man. You know, we all know about the autofocus already. Man, let's talk about the autofocus. To be honest with you, like, you know, a lot of people say uh, manual focusing is a thing of the past, but you still got to be able to get those blur in and blur out shots that you need, you know, certain stuff you may want to blur out. And, you know, just certain, you know, certain B-roll clips you want to use to use the manual focus. And it's it's not a thing of the past, man. I, I think that the autofocus, the autofocus works great, man. It's excellent, you know what I mean? Like, to be honest with you, I'll probably shoot a whole music video on autofocus to be honest with you like it just makes it makes time a lot easier and it makes you no know, it may it makes shooting with the camera a lot easier because you don't have to worry about oh man did i i, I hope i got this scene in, in focus or you know you go back and look at the camera like wow man I, man I, you know sometimes mistakes happen but having this autofocus that's on this camera i don't see no mistakes happening it's been working great for me this is the lens i picked up with it the ef 16 to 35 16-35, to the L3 lens. I picked this up. I even got this from Deals all year. You know, uh, everybody around was charging like 1800 bucks for this lens, $1,900 on Amazon. Check out Deals all year, man, and you'll, you'll get it for a nice price, man. And then I ended up picking up the uh, Peter McKinnon, the Pol Polo Pro. I got the 2-5 uh, to five stop, but I should have got the 6-9. I'll show you the video modes that it does have. I ain't gonna show you all of them, but I'll show you the 4K HQ, I'll show you the 8K, and um, you know, maybe I'll show some 1080 and stuff like that. But I definitely know people wanna see how the quality look. And um, this is for people who sit in a house trying to film at home too. So like me personally, I like 1.4 apertures because I'm able to get that nice bulk in the background. Not saying that this lens doesn't give that to me, but I noticed with 
my um, softbox lights that I do have to turn my lighting up in order to get the good quality I want. I can't shoot at it. I can't shoot at the native ISO or 400 to really, you know, really show like the details and the quality of the camera, man. Like, so let me get on the topic of the cameras I had before I had this one. So I started off with the A6400. I wouldn't say I started off. Man, I've had the Black Magic Cinema 4K. I've had um, the GH5. But then recently I had the A6400. Um, I went back to Sony to check it out. And then from the A6400, I went to the A6600. I had the uh, 24 millimeter 1.4 lens uh, by Sigma. And um, yo, that camera was clean, man. It was real clean, but I, my eyes was on the prize. I, re I really wanted the Canon R5. I had the EOS R. Actually, I had the EOS R before I had this camera. And another thing I love about this camera is the 4K 120, man. Being able to shoot 4K 120 is super crazy, like. Man, I can't wait to shoot some music videos with this. Maybe it's gonna be my video that I shoot. You know, maybe it's gonna be my video that I shoot. You know what? Not no maybe, man. I'm shooting music video on myself, man. I've been shooting for everybody else. It's time for Matt to drop some bombs on some people, man. You know what I mean? And um, yeah. 4K 120, super dope. As far as the overheating go, to be honest with you, I haven't ran across any problems with the overheating. Like I said, I have the Atomos Ninja. And um, I don't really be shooting AK like this. I'm shooting it now because some of my people wanted to see how AK look. You know, they looking to pick up the camera to, you know, do YouTube videos and stuff like that. But I really wanted the Canon R5. I had the EOS R. Actually, I had the EOS R before I had this camera. I wanted the uh, R5. Now, I really love the EOS R. You know what I mean? That was a real clean camera too. So I don't, you know, like, I, didn't have, I just didn't like the, the 4K crop in that one. It was horrible. But this camera is like a, a big upgrade from it. I seen people online like, oh, it doesn't, it's not better than the EOS R. Man, you crazy, man. Like, I wouldn't listen to nobody talking like that, man. I, those were just people I felt like couldn't afford the camera, man. Not talking about nobody, but, you know, usually when you can't buy the camera, you don't want nobody else to have it. Shit, I ain't listening to you. Teach his own, man. If this is a camera you're looking to pick up and you want to purchase, definitely grab it, man. I know that, like I said, they're not out there right now. It's hard to find them. You know, it's, it's pretty tough on getting these cameras, but like I said, man, head over there to my boy Steven, pick you up one, and man, I have fun with the camera. Like, I had to stop listening to people who didn't have the camera, who was always gossiping about how hot the camera got and stuff like that. So, yeah, check it out for yourself, man. This is just a little small review, but I'm gonna definitely get some video for y'all, man, so y'all can check it out. Super dope, dope camera. Don't sleep on it, man. Don't, don't let people who don't have a camera tell you not to get it, you know what I mean? So. If you got the budget for it, grab the camera, have fun with the camera, go out there and shoot. Man, don't wait on nobody, just go have fun with the camera, man. Like I said, and you know, most people be looking like, oh man, I gotta have the best camera in the world. Man, look, whatever you got, go shoot with it, man. Like I said, it ain't the camera, it's the mind behind it that's driving it, you know what I'm saying? So, hey, it's your boy NBN, man. I appreciate y'all, man. Y'all take care, man. One love.